All right, so last year I did a video on bench press biomechanics and what was happening with the shoulder blade, what happens when you're on the bench, how it can lose range, and the load and forces going through the shoulder joint. Now, if you're one of those people that is getting pain from doing things like bench press or even dumbbells on a bench, then I suggest you switch to a different form of doing dumbbells on a Swiss ball, which I'll show you in a minute. But firstly, let's just review what's happening with the bench and why you might be getting pain in the shoulder. Now this could be, is it a bursa, long headed biceps, it could be mechanical pain, it could be tendon, it doesn't matter. If you're getting pain for the bench press, one, if, I can, if you can change the movement pattern and the pain goes away, you know it's a mechanical issue. If it doesn't go away, you probably need to go see the physio, get that assessed, work on some rehab, and then come back to what we're doing today. But if you're just getting a little niggle, a little bit of pain, or maybe you're recovering from an old tendon issue, old shoulder issue, and you're worried about getting this because this is where it happened, going back to it, let me show you what happens here. Okay, so what I want you to look at is what's happening at my actual shoulder blade when I go through that bench press movement. So if I go up into this position here, now immediately what happens, if you've got a heavy bar, now this is loaded up, immediately you're gonna be pushed straight back into retraction, okay? So there's no room to protract because it's too heavy. So most people don't protract it anyway at the top. So I'm stuck in retraction. Then when I come down into this position here, all the movement happens is the glenohumeral joint. And that's just basically locking my shoulder blade in place no movement through the shoulder blade and only movement really in the glenohumeral joint. Now what that's going to do is when it comes back to there, all the shear load goes through the, this joint. But hey, that's the bench press, right? So if I put load on it, I'm going to do horizontal flexion, which is going to build my pecs, build my triceps. That's great. And that's what the strength gains you get from it. But unfortunately, in some people, that puts too much demand through the shoulder joint and they get pain from it. Some people don't, some people do. So if you're one of those people that does get pain from it and it's not going away, then I suggest you swap this out and see if more movement of the shoulder blade helps sort the problem out. So what I mean by that is, if you go to something like a Swiss ball, so don't just go to dumbbells on a bench because yes, there's more sort of stability movement going on but you've still got the problem of the shoulder blades hitting the bench and dropping back, okay? So going to that position and then not going any further. With a Swiss ball, that can go a lot more, okay? Because the ball is rounded, it's not a flat bench, so your shoulder blade can actually angle down a little bit further. So I'll show you what I mean. So if you look at for me from this angle here, if I go into here, okay, into this position, when I come down, okay, I can retract, right? I can keep retracting, I can slide my shoulder blades into more retraction. So when I'm at that point, my shoulder blade is back further, okay? It's not stuck flat. And the good thing about that is, I'm gonna get way more range through my shoulder blades here when I press, okay, in that position. Now, the good thing about that, one, I'm gonna, eliminate that little problem of sort of getting stuck there and then just reefing through that shoulder joint. Two, it's dumbbells, it's light on the bench, there's less load. So less load, less aggravation if I'm already in a mechanical bad position. But also when, it's because this ball is unstable, you'll find that you just can't lift up the heavy dumbbells you did before. And so, because you've got to press them up and press them down and stabilize at the same time, what you'll get, if they're a bit lighter, is a bit more protraction at the end. So when I'm in here, if these are lighter than your heavy ones you used to use on the bench, when you come back up again here, you'll be able to get a little bit of protraction, okay, to get that shoulder blade out of that retracted position all the time that it's in. So you can go from protraction to then retraction and down, and then push away and come back. Of course, you still gotta remember to watch that you don't come down too far now, okay? Because you don't have that bench blocking you. That's the other thing you gotta worry about. Don't let this go all the way down that's gone way past where you should and then start straining that anyway. So bear in mind, you still have to behave yourself about how far down that elbow goes to make sure that you're not getting any problems here. So that's one solution. Now I know, of course, it's lighter, but hey, if you're getting pain, there's most likely you've got a little bit of an injury there, you need to go lighter anyway to rehab it. If this doesn't work, then you need to go get that assessed, okay? If your pain is not going away when you change mechanically what's going on at the shoulder blade, 
Maybe you'd have a bit of a problem, more of a problem than you think. Get that assessed, get it treated, get the rehab burden, get it stronger, then return to this. Now, if you don't have a Swiss ball, you can use a foam roller. I feel it's not quite as comfortable, but it's still the same concept. Skinnier than a bench, okay? So you're gonna get a little bit more attraction. Probably not much as that because you can really drop into the ball, but this one here, if I show you this way, you'll see that I can still get, if I show you one arm, you can still get the protraction part here because it's lighter, but I can get my shoulder blade back further, okay? So when I come down, it's not blocked there where a bench would be, I can get a little bit further. It does come in and hit the roller, but that's okay. All right, and that's the only, the only thing about that is when it comes in, hits the roller, then I drop through to there, all right? And then push away. Sometimes people find that a little bit uncomfortable, but if, you're, if you don't find that uncomfortable going into that position, coming down, pressing away, then you may find that's a good option for you. Now again, the added benefit of this, well of course, the cost is you're not gonna lift as heavy, but hey, the added benefit is gonna be with the ball and the roller, you're gonna get more stability work here, so you're getting that part component added on. Hope that helps, see you next time.